All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Harbor Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles. Now there's a great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hope elect. And um, this is just a quick follow up of the lesson I just did and touching on how, you know, basically following the customs of the nations, you know, claiming to or adopting, you know, the religion of the other nations. Um, basically, you are uh, belittling yourself, okay? Um, I titled it something to that effect, but getting on with the point, uh, I want to touch on this again, you know, maybe go into a little more in-depth of it. All right, it's the book of Psalms 106, verse 34. It says, they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord mm -hmm. commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, of whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works, and went a whoring with their own inventions." Okay, so back to verse 30, uh, 34 says, They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them. So who are the nations that's, that this is speaking of, speaking of, all right? Let's go to the book of um, Deuteronomy. Okay. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy 7. Start at the top, it says, When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land, whether thou goest to possess it, and have cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, the Girgashites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Pezzarites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. Okay, now these nations of whom this is speaking of, these are all um, Hermetic Hermetic nations, okay? Now, when you go into uh, um, one of our fathers, Shem, okay? Um, or Slakia, not our father, Slakia. When you go into uh, uh, Noah, one of Noah's three sons, his name was uh, uh, Ham, okay? These are the nations who came out of Ham, right? He, Noah had three sons, which was Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Okay, now these people come out of Ham. Okay, these are will be labeled as the so-called African people today. All right, these are what these are these people. Okay, and we the Israelites, right? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We come out of Shem, okay? Not only do we come out of Shem, the so-called Arabs, which are the Ishmaelites, come out of Shem. The so-called white people, which are the Edomites, come out of Shem. The so-called East Indians, which are the Elamites, come out of Shem. The so-called uh, Chinese, which are the Moabites, come out of Shem. The so-called uh, 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 I just, just got a man block. Um, Slakia for that, you know, but you know, there's a few of, there's a few nations, I believe one or two more nations that I can name that comes out of Shem. All right, but that's not the point of this lesson. That's a different lesson. Okay, back to this, you know. It says, and when the verse two, Deuteronomy seven verse two, it says, and when the Lord thy God shall deliver them from before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them, and thou shalt make no covenant with them nor show mercy unto them, right? Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. But thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall what? Ye shall destroy their altars, and break down their images and cut down their graves and burn their graven images with fire. Okay, so these nations, right, that we were about to come across, the Lord told us 
how to deal with these nations. It says, look, don't have no mercy on these nations. Destroy everything that they have and the customs that they do. Okay? This is what we were supposed to do. Okay? This is what we were supposed to do. Why? Because verse 6, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So this is one of the reasons why the Lord said what he said. Okay, I made you a holy people. I made you a separate people. I don't want you to follow after the ways and the customs and the madness that these other nations are doing, man. Okay, because you're a special people unto me. And I made you to be above all the nations of the earth, man. Right? I gave you the law, statutes, and commandments, man, which was your wisdom in the sight of the nations. You see? Verse 7, it says, The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loves you, and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, have the Lord brought you out of a, a, a mighty, right, with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, right? So, uh, you know, and that's the point that I wanted to get, you know, but these are the nations, right? These, these are the... Uh, uh, these were the nations, what, who we did not destroy, right, of concerning whom the Lord have commanded us to destroy. You see? So when you jump back to the Psalms 105, or Slaki 106, verse 35, it says, Verse 34, again, it says, they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And learning their works, what happened? And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works and went a whoring with their own inventions, you see? So this is what took place of not being obedient to the Lord and doing what he commanded us to do, okay? We went completely off. You know, these nations have what? They have become a snare unto us. Ultimately, they became a snare, Let's see what this uh, cross-reference is trying to lead me to. Let's go to the book of Judges. Okay, let's see what this is. Lead me to Judges 1. When you go back, when you go do this whole, when you go through this book of Judges, you see, you know, the rebelliousness of Israel, you know, and how the Lord would set us up a judge. Okay, judges to get up us out of the situation. But as soon as, you know, this uh, person that was set over us died, okay? This king, would, or yeah, the judge was set up over us that died. What happened? Jake would go back into the same rebellious state. And what? Follow the ways of the heathen. Okay? This is another situation in the book of Judges 1, verse 21. It says, And the children of Benjamin did not drive out the Jebusites that inhabited Jerusalem, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Benjamin in Jerusalem until this day. Okay? They did what? They did not drive them out. You see? Let me see what this goes into. Right, so that's the point on that. Um, and, and you see it more and more. Okay. Uh, verse 20, uh, 28. 
It says, and it came to pass when Israel was strong, they that they put the Canaanites to tribute and did not utterly drive them out, meaning they put them in subjection where they had to uh, be servants, basically serve them. Okay, they became under tribute. Neither did Ephraim drive out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gazar, but the Canaanites dwelt in Gezar among them. Neither did Zebulon drive out the inhabitants of Ketron, nor the inhabitants of Nello, but the Canaanites dwelt among them and became trib tributaries. Okay, so that's going into all the, uh, these different things of them not driving them out, but instead making these nations tributaries into them. Okay, but a point, you know, with us not driving out these nations, these same nations became a snare to, to us. How? Because we started to what? Eventually uh, worship these, these people's uh, idols, you know, learned the way of the heathen. We started to learn the customs, you know, we started to make uh, marriages, you know, with these nations as far as our sons and daughters. Okay, the same thing our Lord was told, the Lord told us not to do. Because what will take place, you know, when you're dealing with marriage, okay, marriage was basically almost, as it was like, it was like nation building. You know, it was like a, a networking, so to speak. It was, wasn't just no, you know, oh, you're getting married, you know, and it was just that. No, nah, it was, you know, ceremonies, it, it, had, it, was, it was business agreements, everything with that, you know. And a lot of things came with um, behind uh, the purpose of marriage. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, that's, you know, I mean, I believe that's the point that I wanted to touch on, you know, dealing with the nations. Okay. That was, uh, uh, that we was mingled. Right. Or, or the nations we were supposed to destroy who the Lord commanded us. But we didn't, but we were mingled uh, around them. So what? We learned their, their their works, you know. We adopted their customs as to be our own, you see. You know, their, their idols and, you know, all these different things that they were doing, you see. But the scriptures already tell you in Jeremiah, as I did in the last lesson, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay? We were to learn not the way of the heathen. All right, um... I believe there's one more that I wanted to touch on. Okay. Let's see. Uh, it's locked. Bear with me. In a way, I believe that's the point, you know. Yeah, that's the point, you know. So, Lord, we'll hold this quick lesson. Is that a plan? Until next time, we'll say shalom.